Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the error setup was unable to create a new system partition or locate an existing system partition. This same process applies to Windows 7, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10. What I'll be doing is installing Windows from the hard drive instead of a USB or an installation disk. If you want to try simpler options, Instead of the uh, process I'm about to show you, you can go to my post. The link is in the description box below. Okay, now once here, make sure that any external hard drive is unplugged from your PC. And if you're installing Windows from a USB or disk, leave that plugged in. Nothing else. Now press Shift plus F10. This will bring up the command prompt. Here type disk part and hit enter. Then type list disk and hit enter. This will list all hard drive connected to the PC. I only have one. You should only have one as well. If not, be able to identify the installation hard drive. So I'm installing Windows to this hard drive, which is a 60 gig disk zero. So I need to select it by entering select space disk space zero and then hit enter. Now type clean to delete all information on that drive. Once done, type create partition primary size equals, I'm going to make this a five gig. So I'll enter 5,000 megs and hit enter. You can find all the commands in my website. Again, the link is in the description box below. Now type format space FS equal NTFS space quick for a quick format. Once done, now type assign to assign a drive letter. Then active to make that partition usable. Now type list volume to list any partitions and or drives. In this case, I have my DVD drive that has my Windows 7 installation disk. And my newly created partition, in this case, volume 1, drive letter C which is the uh, five gigabyte partition we just created. What we're going to do is copy the installation files from the disk to the C partition. If you're using a USB to install Windows, it's exactly the same process. Now go ahead and exit. Now change directory to the location where you have your Windows installation files. In this case, the DVD drive letter E. So I'll enter CD space E colon. And now type X copy space e colon space c colon four slash e four slash h four slash k and hit enter this will copy the installation files from the dvd to the c partition this could take quite some time but once done make sure to eject the installation disk and or usb then type exit and x out of here to reboot the machine now, once it reboots, it'll start installing Windows. You need to be careful uh, when installing Windows this way because you have the installation partition here. If you notice here, disk zero partition one is a five gigabyte partition we created earlier. You don't want to delete this. All you need to do is just select the unallocated space and then hit next. And you're good to go. Now, once Windows has been installed, we need to edit the bootloader to remove this black screen from coming up. To do that, just run command prompt as administrator. If you're prompted, click yes to the UAC and here type BCD edit and hit enter. Locate where it says description Windows setup under the bootloader. We need to use this identifier okay that key so enter bcd edit space forward slash delete space open bracket and then the identifier number and then close bracket hit enter that's it now once you restart it'll restart without uh, giving you that uh, black screen on the bootloader thank you for watching this video my name is miguel if you have any questions Feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.